Hey everybody, we're going to tie the hair's ear uh, according to Lights and Rings, uh, The Art of the Wet Fly. Tying the wet fly, here's his tying an old photo and here's the recipe, primrose silk, no hackle, wood duck tail fibers, hair's ear on primrose spun for the body, uh, thin gold tinsel, and then a wing from a uh, woodcock uh, with buff tips. And uh, so there are the ingredients. And we have well waxed primrose here. And we're gonna tie in. A few wraps back, remove the, the waist, the tag piece. Head back to about the midpoint. Grab a few fibers uh, from a wood duck feather. And try and get it so it curves up and uh, whoops fail there so let's try it again and uh you know never never uh feel like you're you're stuck you can always go back and we got a little bit of curvature there and keeping it on top we're going to wrap all the way to the to the bend and remove the waist Tie in our tinsel. This is very thin. I'm using Mylar. Uh, it's gold on one side, silver on the other side. If you use that, just make sure you tie it in right so that as you wrap, you get the gold side. I tied it on my side, so gold towards the hook because I'll, I'll flip it. And that's uh, my primrose spun body with um, the hair's ear on there. So it's, uh, it's hair lobe and hair ear mixed together, just tightening it up a little bit as I wind. And I'm gonna try and build a little bit of a taper here. Uh, if you do the rope well enough, it should be pretty easy to get a taper. And, uh, you know, get that sort of football-y shape. Puffy in the middle. A little bit there at the thorax. Tie it down two wraps. Cut off your waist piece. And now we'll wrap that tinsel forward. This makes some nice open space turns. Create a nice rib. Add a tiny bit of flash to the fly. Two wraps to uh, secure it, one in the front. Just moving things back to make, so the wing is a uh, woodcock, slips from a secondary feather with buff tips. And it looks like from the picture of his tie fly versus in the book uh, that he does tip down. Uh, so there it is, tip down, tied in. Cut off those those butt ends. The feather. And then cover up the butts I'm wrapping towards the eye of the hook and then back. He likes the cone shaped heads. And then we'll do a whip finish back to front. Seat the knot. Remove any excess wax and then cut, cut away your tying thread. Close. Check everything out. There's a little bit of a 360 for you. Now there's no hackle on this fly. You're, you're going to uh, pick out the hair's ear, uh, some of that fur to make for legs. So I have a, an old toothbrush here just chop down so that the the bristles are closer to the end of the toothbrush and a little bit stiffer just a couple rubs through there and there's the fly thank you have a great day bye